disasters will happen, and uh, the best thing is to prepare yourself to avoid them. That is the reticent comment from the man charged with the running of the Kenya national carrier Kenya Airways five days after the inferno that gutted the main terminal at East and Central Africa's largest and busiest airport. Slowly, the backlog in passengers and delays is clearing up. Airline CEO Dr. Titus Naikuni is on hand to personally supervise the loading and departure of this flight to Amsterdam from Nairobi, one of the first for the day. The airline which uses the airport as a hub is currently operating below full capacity internationally and expects to be fully operational once again by the end of the week, attributing the quick recovery to initial preparedness. The reason we've been able to cope is because we have our own disaster management system, which kicked in immediately. And that's why we were able to uh, turn around everything. The second thing is, is, is to have um, a, a, way, a fallback position that where we say, look, if this happens, then you do this. Initial confusion at the airport meant that operations were hampered with flights grounded entirely, leading to losses in revenue estimated at about $4 million. It was the first day there was confusion around the, the airport for all of us. I mean, you can imagine when such, such a thing happens. But within uh, uh, an hour or two, we realized the position we were in and we had to take stock of you know, where do we go from there. This somewhat quick recovery has meant that those services were initially affected with delays in flights all over the globe. Operations have now resumed a semblance of normalcy. If you look at the, the, the operations, we are now back internationally to about 75% of our plan and uh, domestic we are 100%. We believe we should be 100% international by Thursday morning or Wednesday night. And though the airline says it has assigned large capacity aircraft to service areas with high traffic flows to even out the kinks in its operations, there may be little doubt that its business will continue to be affected as long as the recovery effort continues. Operations almost fully back to normal here at Domo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi and conversations with companies that use this facility underscoring the fact that it is of utmost importance to have in place a comprehensive disaster management system at all times. Peter Kabasisi CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.